You do not want to miss this recipe. Welcome to Rice Cooker Baking with Life of Pang. Anita has asked for a savory souffle or quiche, so here it is. Make sure you put your request below. We are making a spinach cheese souffle today. I recommend you prep most of your main ingredients before starting. This will really help when you start making this recipe. I am using these frozen spinach balls. They're spinach leaves, but you can use any frozen chopped spinach. If you want to use fresh spinach, make sure you check the notes in the recipe below. Be sure to thaw and squeeze out all the liquids from the spinach. And then measure it using a measuring cup or a food scale. Since mine are frozen spinach leaves, I have to chop them, and it does not need to be super fine. Do check the written recipe and oven baking instruction in the description below. I do put in additional notes and tips below. Now separate 5 eggs, however you want to do it. I am using these mixed cheese and this cheddar cheese because it's all I have. But you can use Gruyere, cheddar cheese, or any other mixed cheese you have. Plug in and turn on your rice cooker, and then add in your butter. You can also do this in a pot over a stove top. Let it melt and keep stirring it for about 1 or 2 minutes until the butter starts to turn lightly brown. Then add the flour and keep stirring so that it doesn't get stuck on the bottom and burn for about 2 minutes. Now add your milk and continue to whisk. until it's thick and creamy. Mine took about 3 to 4 minutes. Then remove from the heat and add your spices. And add the spices to your taste. It could be more or less. Now mix to combine. Add the egg yolks one at a time and mix 30 seconds between each. And now add your chopped spinach. And shredded cheese. But don't add the Parmesan cheese. First beat it on low for about one minute. And then add the cream of tartar or the lemon juice. Now beat it on medium until you get stiff peak, and that's usually 4 to 5 minutes. Go ahead and butter your pot. Butter the bottom and the sides, 
as high as you think the souffle will rise. And I am putting down a parchment paper because of the scratches in my pot, but it's not necessary. If you do put in a parchment paper, make sure you butter it as well. Now shake and tap, turning your pot to make sure the inner pot is fully coated with Parmesan cheese. Go ahead and dump any loose cheese into your batter. Mix the white into the batter in thirds. You want to fold this in slowly in one direction, scraping the bottom and the sides. Now put a paper towel on top to catch condensation and we are ready to bake. Turn on your rice cooker and then set a 30 minute timer. And after 30 minutes, you want to come back and push that cook button again and set another 30 minute timer. The rice cooker will go into warm status and that is completely normal. Now this is after two bake cycle, which is one hour. Oh, and it smells so good. Look at how beautiful that is. And this is a clean tester, so we're done baking. Now you do want to serve this immediately. Don't let it cool, but don't turn it upside down onto a plate either. The top is very delicate and turning it upside down will completely deflate it. So cut it or scoop it out with a big spoon and serve. Doesn't this look amazing? Oh yeah. I really appreciate you watching my video. Please click that like button because it really helps my channel out. And make sure you don't miss any new recipes every Saturday by hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell until the two wings show up. That way, you'll get notified when I put up new videos. And just check out the cheese. And yes, it does crackle and pop when you stick your fork or spoon into it. And oh deliciousness. I like my spicier, so I topped it with additional cayenne pepper. Please do check out my other videos.